Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Yes, it is Fortnite time. Today is Wednesday, the 18th of October 2023. And we're looking at this Fortnite figure, this Permafrost Raider. Now, I've got a couple more Fortnite reviews coming up after this, so do stay tuned. In fact, you may want to join a Patreon because there's some special stuff in there you can see straight away. Okay, so let's get a look. She is just a... I want to say a repaint, not so much a repaint, but different plastic, a bit translucent as well, of the figure that came with the uh, chopper and also in the, was it the lava pack? I forget. So she is series one, number 259. On the back she shows Chaos Agent. I've got C top right. Manic, who I haven't got, but I'm still looking for. Meowsles, who I'll review a little bit later. And Fish Dick, and I've got a different version of him. Looks pretty cool. I got a more for that rose more than anything else. I think that rose looks awesome. A bit big for 118, but does look nice in fact she is starting to grow them even though i've got the same sculpt already right i'm gonna uh pause this open her up i'll be back in an instant do stay tuned again please consider joining the patreon back now and here she is first thing i'll say she's so easy to stand up and pose that was straight away no balancing after i've uh, posed her legs is really really quick and easy she does look good does she look better than the other versions? I'm not entirely convinced, but she does look nice. Let's get a close look at her and her accessories. So she comes with, I guess there's a harvesting tool, this sort of ice translucent-ish, yeah, semi-translucent-ish, lucent ish ice pick thingy, which looks pretty cool. She also comes with this really nice looking rose but it's way too big that's not even 112 scale that's more 16 scale that is massive that's bigger than her head you know uh so if i hold that that is bigger than her head that's a big flower you can see there if i get a 112 scale figure it's a death dealer from marvel it's still it could work a 112 maybe a bit small for 16 perhaps 110 scale 18 scale will work better you see it's still big for that but it is a nice looking rose great affected little paint job going in on the inside there does plug into her back you can see that little pin does look nice now let's get a close look at her now i will say this the paint apps on her legs look fantastic or the lower legs i should say so let's see head we've seen the scott before looks pretty good giving a very asian face with that eye shape and paint job there that translucent sort of plastic looks pretty cool not sure how she'll work in my universe. She could be like a alien pilot for Star Wars. The lower legs. Uh, let me see if I. Could, I don't know if you can get a turn that light away. Get a better idea of a paint job. Let's try the light here. There we go. You can see that sort of weathered, dry brush look on her legs works really, really well. See better this light here. So that does look nice. So let's get an idea of articulation. Nothing different to what we've seen before with her. I would imagine. So left and right, get a decent down up because the ponytail is not really that great. All the way around, shoulders well over the flat. I can't do that on my shoulders without changing my hand position. Uh, biceps just over 90, which is fantastic. Hands are both wave articulation and they will spin around as well. She has trunk here, we can see. So there is a forwards, backwards, not really a side to side, and she can turn a little bit. Waist, there's some movement, not really a turn, but there's forwards action too. So forwards together is like this, excluding the hips. Backwards together is like that. Obviously you've got the hips involved, she'll sit practically flat and go quite far back as well. And speaking of hips, she gets very far on the hips as we expect from Fortnite which is nice, one of the pluses of Fortnite, uh, no detailing around there, but she gets a decent forward, not great, but it's decent enough, backwards is tiny, there's a thigh swivel, double kneecap, and so it's quite tight there, and she also has a, nah, my good thumb, there we go, has a good tippy toe, she also has decent, yeah, dorsey, don't break there we go decent dorsey i'll say decent i want to take that back she has very small dorsiflexation barely going forwards 
and the feet do swivel in. Yeah. Actually drops out my hands. And they do swivel out as well. Which, hope, which helps in some of the poses where her legs are splayed apart slightly. Okay, so let me set her up at the back there. And we'll get an idea of how big she is. We know she's going to be standard sort of a 10.5 cm approximately. Let's get my tape measure. And we can see that she is maybe a touch under 10, a touch, I'm sorry, a touch under 10.5. She's about 10.2, 10.3. So decent size. How she scale with other figures? If I get my, I say custom, just like, just put a thought in my head on this acid rainbow figure. My custom uh, marine new sentinel, one of my favourite acid rainbow figures. And you see that she scales very very well with acid rainbow. If I get uh, my one of my Marvel figures, we're dropping things on the floor here. This is a scroll soldier with that axe. He is big, but again, scales very well with him too very nice looking figure i think they've done a cracking job on that um i'm not sure i'll put it on my recommended list unless you uh, if you haven't got one of these raiders already in one of the other paint schemes in the air i'd recommend her um if you have a, if you have already got one then only really get it if you're going to be a collector or you really like the look because he's just pretty much the same okay it's all national toys selling out saying please like share subscribe check out the patreon i see you in the next video stay happy keep collecting bye bye